these first couple of videos will be just about you getting set up. We're not going to do an effective or sophisticated step counting. Um, I'm just going to show you how to get the sample data, read and parse it, and do some basic plotting. So let's go ahead and start. You can head on over to bit.ly FHS step counter data, sensor data. Uh, and that takes you to my Google Drive where you'll see a whole bunch of pre-recorded files with sensor data that I took while walking my toddler. You should be able to download all of these at once by clicking the downward arrow and going to download. It will prepare them as a zip file and then you can copy those to some location on your own hard drive and unzip them. You'll want to actually open the downloads folder and find the zip file itself. Don't double click on it. Instead, copy it and paste it in the location you know. For me, I'm going to put that inside my D drive in Java Workspaces data. And so you can paste your zip file there. Um, I use a 7-zip extractor, um, and if you don't have that, well, here, I'll show you what you can do in Windows. So on a Mac, there should be some way to extract this, presumably in a context menu. Um, but you can say extract all, and you can tell it to extract. And there you see that it's created a folder whose name is the same as the file name. Um, you probably want to rename this folder to be something simpler and easier to type. Um, so I'm going to rename it to be uh, step data. Uh, try, and try and avoid using spaces in your folder names. OK, so when we go into it, oh. Uh, Okay, let's, uh, let's reorganize this. So I don't like to have uh, a pointless folder inside of another folder. So you want to cut and paste things until all of your files are just inside whatever the first folder is. So here I've got one called step data, and then there are all my files. So similarly, you wanna have a single folder and then all the files. So do what you need to do in order to make it look that way. On Windows, you can get the full path string by clicking up here, and it should give it to you. Mine is D drive Java Workspaces data. Um, oh, let's go in there first. Slash step data. Um, save this string, write it down somewhere, or remember it, because you'll need it later on to load the data. You can record your own data sets for step counting if you want to. There's a plethora of different apps that give you direct access to your raw sensor data. Um, I have a Google Pixel, um, and so I I like Hyper IMU, which is not one of the most highly rated apps, um, but has a nice set of features for what I want to do. Um, so I'll show you how to use it. Uh, here you can select the sensors from a list of your sensors. Primarily, we're just using the accelerometer and gyroscope. Um, there's a variety of what are called software sensors, which don't correspond to a particular uh, physical sensor that transduces a physical signal. Um, instead, the software sensors act as if they're sensors, but they actually combine information from multiple sensors on your phone. Um, so an example of that one would be like this one has a built-in step detector. Um, it doesn't work super well, but it's, it's got one. Um, the gravity sensor would be an example of one. Linear acceleration and rotation vector, those would be some others. Um, so you can feel free to play around with these, but the accelerometer and gyroscope are mainly the ones that you want. Um, then you hit this big green circle to begin recording. You see here it's sampling at a rate of every 20 milliseconds. Um, and when you're done, you hit the circle again and it stopped and it's recorded to a file. And then you can look at acquisitions and there's the name of the file. And probably the easiest thing to do is just to email it to yourself. Um, but they have a variety of other options as well that you could use. Once you've downloaded it, you'll need to make a couple of changes. I recommend not opening it in Microsoft Excel. Um, I think you should choose a plain text editor. I like Notepad++, which you can download and is free. Um, here are the changes that you need to make. This is not a proper comma-separated value file because of these first couple of lines where it gives you the app name, it tells you the sample rate, and the date it was recorded on. So you should just delete these first couple of lines, save the file, and that's it. And now your file is in the same format as mine.